estão ouvindo esse som Pulsando seco no ar Merece nossa atenção Preparem bem os sensores Para poder captar Parem usinas motores Para ouvirmos bater I love the way that this section of the room is for kids and then that section is for adults. I love the way that you kind of separate. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like a kids playground. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So the mum, the mum or dad can go up there, have a cup of coffee. Yeah. Have a bottle of beer. Yeah. Can, can be down here playing the PlayStation. Clean. Yeah. That PlayStation. Go look at the clothes. Back yeah, yeah, that PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the punch bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, can, can get the football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I love it. I love it. I love it. I actually don't think I've seen a concert like that, like this anywhere that I've been. Where they've got something so tailored towards towards kids, well, I think. Yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah. Well, we yeah, just yeah. want to break break rules. Yeah. You know, like kids, as I say, it's just born. Yeah, yeah. Shall we? No, if you kid, come on, shall we? Yeah, yeah, I want to go. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Because they know they're coming in. Like, oh, come yeah, here, computer, yeah. come and hang out. Bring their stickers. Stick yeah, them stick the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean? I think it's really cool. So obviously, I'm, I've I've come down to London to come and see you today. Come and meet you. Find out more about what uh, you guys uh, do. Uh, and um, thank you for having me um, come down and seeing you guys. And, and what I've seen so far, I think you guys have got a really cool operation here. Thank and you I, very I, I'm, much. I'm really impressed. So obviously, you're really big on social media. You're doing lots of stuff on there. You've got uh -huh. a store here. Uh -huh. You've been going on for a long time. Can you tell, for those who don't know, how you guys started? What, how did it all begin? Well, it was sort of started by accident. Um, originally, we used to sell pre owned clothes. Mm -hmm. So we've done the whole pre owned thing on eBay. Mm -hmm. I've worn Stone Island say the past 10 years, mm -hmm. um, had a few jackets and land in the wardrobe, gathering dust, mm -hmm. put it on the eBay, maybe got half its value back. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's something, something in here, you know, it's really, really retained its price. Mm -hmm. Then started buying more and more pre owned, work out to the point the postman's calling my house with yeah. a sack of coats. Yeah. I'm relisting them, better keywords, better photographs. And starting to make generate a business out of yeah. it, starting to make money out of it. And you thought, well, hold on, I've got, I'm uh, yeah, got something. Yeah, well, it's a wee bit unique. So then yeah. we, we had a different premises mm -hmm. for the pre owned stuff. Oh, so you wasn't, it you wasn't, wasn't always, no, okay. we always here, we just, we, nobody knew we were there, it was just like a lock up on a computer and we, we uh, office and stuff. Okay. And then we were maybe doing 60 items a week, yeah. 100 items a week, wow. 120 items wow. a week, you know what I mean? And then here's me, well, if we can do pre owned. How do you get into the brand new? Mm. So we started searching about Italy, started getting a wee bit of Stone Island in, yeah. getting a bit of CP in, yeah. and then since then, like the power of Facebook, the power of Instagram, yeah. the power of Snapchat. Yeah. We didn't have a shop open to the public, we didn't have our own website, yeah. it was all through social media. Yeah. Social media, yeah, I'll take a meeting, what's your PayPal? Done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just that easy, just yeah. constant. Thing. Yeah. And all we really focused on was jackets. Mm -hmm. Everything we bought was coats, coats, coats. That's like me, that's what that's my you know thing. So, but then, thinking of the bigger picture, I'm going, right, how can you grow this? You, know, yeah. you can't have a, a business or have a clothing business. You know, just, just, just jackets and just food brands. When, get, when you're getting into like, like what we're doing now, we're getting into the spring wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shirts, shorts, yeah, shorts, yeah, 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 yeah. tracksuits and stuff like that. Go from there. Um, and we started looking for premises, which we're in now. Okay. Never, never looked like this. It was just a shell, paint on the walls, carpet on the floor. Yeah. And bought a couple of chrome reels, stuck mm. them on the wall. And people just started to come. Come in. And then started the snowball. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. we've done our big skills events. Yeah, yeah. People's camping out in tents. Yeah. People's queuing down the road. Wicked. People's, uh, we do free worldwide delivery. Yeah. So people's coming on from Australia. So you do, you do free worldwide delivery as well? Worldwide, <laughs> anywhere in the globe. Anywhere. Anywhere. So Anywhere someone from Japan. Japan wants something, you'll ship there? Japan, Dubai, America, wow. South Korea, Indonesia, USA. South Africa, wow. USA. Berlin. And a, lo a lot of these markets don't have direct access to brands like Stone Island, CP Company, they might not have retailers that, no, that, no, no, that no. supply the stuff over what, there. What they do, they would come to us because, you know, number one, we're trusted. Mm -hmm. Number two, we send everything around the globe. It's international, tracked and signed for, yeah. they can track it, it lands at the door. The price you see on our website is the mm -hmm. price you pay. Yeah. We're not adding on £20 shipping fees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you 
you know, again, the sales event's probably the most modest time of the year because we undercut every retailer out there. Mm -hmm. So if you, for example, a CP company, Goggle Beanie, retails at 95, mm -hmm. we sell for 29. Yeah. So you yeah. can have no more than plans, yeah, sales yeah, yeah, at the yeah. same price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, um, we don't hold back, everything was in yeah. the sale. Footwear, every brand, yeah. every item, yeah, yeah, yeah. shorts, coats, yeah. every single thing. You've kind of grown quite quickly in such a short space of time. How do you think that's happened? I mean, you've, how long have you had the shop now? You've had it for well, the shop was two, two years, two years. Shop, um, but grown so quick. That's why we've been, we've been closed now the last six weeks. Yeah. Because we wanted to put the brakes on. Yeah. Because growing one side of business, skills wise, the other side, behind the scenes, hasn't grew with it. Right. So as in the infrastructure, as in yeah. you know, highway process orders, and all the, the, the yeah. time it takes us physically yeah. to print out invoices and matching. So I'm looking at bigger systems from multi-million pound companies. How do they do it? So what you're saying is that since you started, the demand has grown so much on the face yeah, of things yeah, yeah, yeah. that you want to make sure that the back end of stuff yeah, is matches. keeping up yeah. with the demand. Because it does, it hands up, it didn't. Yeah. You know, because it was taking us not saying people there was delays in packages, it's always next day, but us as in time wise during the day mm -hmm. took us a lot longer to process things. Yeah. So once we put these new systems in place, we have like a cloud based uh, stock control system yeah. where we can have all our products on different platforms such as our own website, eBay, Amazon, yeah. in store, yeah. all barcoded. Yeah. One scan within one second. Yeah, it's leave it off the other it's platforms. It's linked to the all system. So in other words, you've just basically updated your system so that everything's kind of streamlined so that you can yes. manage orders better yes. for people. You strike me as a bit of a perfectionist. Like you want things to be done in a certain way. You want your customers to be happy about certain things. He's like, you, you're a man of detail. You want things to yeah, be done. Yeah, you have properly. to because you, you yourself, you're in the clothing. Mm -hmm. So if you go into a store and you get bad service, mm -hmm. you're never going to go back. Hell no. And you're going to tell everybody. I'm going to tell everyone. Exactly. I'm going to snap it. So <laughs> save, save for me, uh, yeah. if I go into other retailers, I won't name, and I've had bad service, if I go in the tracksuit, mm -hmm. Per trainer in a baseball cap and they look down your nose. I don't want anyone to say, judging you. Why, why is he coming yeah. for anything? I mean, yeah, yeah. So I, I want whether you come in your pajamas in here, yeah. you come in a football cap, you come in yeah. in a tracksuit, you come in a suit, yeah. you're all yeah. treated the same. The same. I mean, I saw a guy that came in whilst I was here and he, he came up and uh, he was like, Oh, you know, sorry, we're closed. And he said, Oh, I've kind of come from far. Yeah. And you were like, oh, Okay, you know, just yeah, 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 have, yeah. A look, yeah. have a look around yeah. and stuff. And I was really impressed with the way that you yeah. he, he kind of dealt with him. Because obviously it's a grand opening, so we're still, the place is still a bit of a building yeah. site, we're still adding still tweaking bits. Stuff, yeah. So obviously a few hours to go, I want to just make yeah. sure everything's 100%. Like yeah. we're here at half three this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So Back up to pick out. me up from airport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you've been, you've been yeah, non-stop yeah, basically. Pressure, pressure. Let us know what's happening tonight. Today is your big relaunch for your big refurb. So it's like you're relaunching the David yes, James Kerr yes. brand. It's basically a full rebrand. Mm -hmm. So we took down all this the out, from the outside signage, mm -hmm. put our new logo up. Mm -hmm. um, we've sort of turned away. Originally we had the Stone Island bars and CP bars outside the shop. Mm -hmm. But now we, we took that away because we're starting to widen the net. Yeah. With customers out in the Weekend Defender, in the Maestrom, in the Elf Industries, in yeah. the Paul and Shark. Yeah. So we're just, just going down the lines of, you know, Growing more brands, growing our business. Yeah. Um, wanted to put the brakes on the shop, rip everything out, rip everything out from the floor to the ceiling, yeah. and everything in between. Yeah, yeah. Put before if you walked into the store, it was maybe a bit more overcrowded, like a TK Max, mm -hmm. whereas we strip the ring away. So yeah. there's one of every size out. Yeah. We have in stock, and we have a full stock room for stores to yeah. pack it up. Yeah. So we, you can come in, chill out, watch a bit of football, grab a beer, we pack it what you want, we go and get it for you. Job done. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but like you mentioned the event tonight, obviously it's a grand opening. We've been promoting it a few weeks of the celebrity impersonator, mm -hmm. Alf Ran, coming up from Dublin. Wicked. He's millions and millions of views now on his impersonations. Yeah. Um, guys coming from all over the country. And they were you, down. You've, you've come over. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, guys on social media promoting it. Um, with another company uh, doing a promo video tonight while everybody's here, we drink the yeah. music. And you get people, we were talking earlier on, you get people coming from everywhere, you get people coming from, you said you had someone coming from Indonesia. Coming yeah, 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 people from Indonesia, like last week, this, again, the shop store wasn't open, guys from Norway, yeah. banging on the door, and I thought, <laughs> we're, not, we're not open, uh, come here, come here, yeah. so I come down, what, what, what do you want? He yeah. says, we're from the most travel from Norway, we need to see the shop. So you're saying these guys came all the way from Norway to come to yeah, Belfast, yeah, to come, it's come destiny, and see your store? It's a destination, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean, it's just, it's just got one of them hooks now, where the guys, whether they're into the football scene, or they're into just the 
Hazel, old brands yeah. that yeah. you just want to come, put their sticker in here, yeah. say they've been here, get their photograph here, mm -hmm. you know, try it on. It's just because our shop really breaks the rules that other yeah. shops have. Yeah, yeah. So you can come and have a beer, you can have 10 beers, you can have yeah. 20 beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, it, you make people feel comfortable here. Yeah, basically. you can watch football, you sit with your feet up on the yeah. table, yeah, yeah. play a PlayStation, yeah, yeah, yeah. chill out. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah. no. Use our Wi Fi, have a cup of coffee, yeah. do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. I love the concept too. Yeah, you stay for two hours, yeah. you know, and you're under no obligation to buy anything. Yeah, yeah. No, we're not following you around. Right. As you said before, it's about the experience. Exactly, it's about the experience. We rather you left with a smile on your face, then we've done our job. Mm -hmm. Whether you've left with one of our bags or you've left empty handed, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Still, but from what I've seen so far, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. Thank and you've much. only done it in two years. Yeah. And a lot of the brands that I've, retailers that I've been speaking to, they've been doing it you know, for a long period of time. And mm -hmm. you seem to have. You seem to have done it really quickly. I, I think in the early days when I first found out about you, it was really from a lot of my followers that were getting in touch with me and they were saying, you know, do you know David James Kerr? Do you know, is he safe to buy from yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. the main thing, because yeah. you know a lot of people come to us for legit checks and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, sorry. So I, I checked out your stuff, I looked at your pictures and I said, well, from what I can see from the pictures, the pictures um, look genuine. But then I started to see you, your following growing and the comments on there and I'm thinking, this guy is not doing genuine stuff, then he's not going to be getting such a huge following like yeah. that. Because you can get people that can buy Instagram oh, right, followers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, But you can always tell when someone buys because they don't get much interaction. Yeah, yeah. They've got like 100,000 followers, but they only get like 50 yeah. likes or yeah. something, so you yeah. can kind of tell. But it's so, like, like yourself, you're proud because you've grown organically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you're really protective. Over yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, you know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah. you, you've worked hard. Exactly. You, know, you think about your yeah. posts, you think about the content. Like, yeah. you know and I mean? you do menswear and you do juniors. Yes, men's well. and junior. And to be honest, they're both neck and neck. We thought at the start when we done men's, mm -hmm. was a wee bit nervous about bringing the juniors in. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I have kids and I don't go out and spend they hundreds of thousands on yeah, my yeah. school. So yeah. Well, I can make sure you know, it was the right move. But ever since we've brought the kids in, we've been, been on board. I know, I know. We can't keep up is, with yeah. the demand. Kids are so, I found out more about you, I found out more about what you do here. Hopefully my followers are going to know more about you because they're always asking, so hopefully this can answer a lot of their questions. Yeah. So I think the most important thing now is we take a look at your store, have a look at more of, of, of your stock and see what everything's saying. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, let's go for it man, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go.